Hello, my name's Brian. I'm here to tell you about something that happened to me a few weeks ago. But first a question. Isn't it truly amazing that your life can be turned upside down in just one-tenth of a second? It can. And soon, you'll find out why. Let's not bore you with a lot of details about my life. I'll cut to the chase. I was born in New York 23 years ago, and growing up, I was always somewhat of a child prodigy. I studied at Columbia and finished my physics degree with honors last year. During the summer, I arranged interviews with several universities, hoping I'd get into a decent PhD program. And in the end, I was chosen by the best. Professor Silva at Berkeley offered me the chance to do my doctoral studies at the applied physics department he runs there. It was a dream come true. I packed my bags and got ready to move to California. I was ready to drive from coast to coast without stopping. I had no idea of the events that would take place within just a few days. About the mess I was gonna get in. Strange people about to cross my path. The hundreds of dangers lurking behind every corner. Yes, it was quite an adventure. Let's go back to the beginning. As I told you, my old car and I were ready to go to California. I decided to take off at night and get a few miles behind me before dawn. I said goodbye to my parents, my sister and my dog, and I got behind the wheel. That's when I remembered I forgot to pick up a book I'd ordered at a bookshop downtown in Manhattan. Luckily, it was one of those bookstores that stays open 24-7, so I decided to grab the book on the way. I could have asked them to mail it to me once I got to California, but uh, no, I decided to go into Manhattan and get it myself. That one detour changed my life forever. Oh my god! Stay away. It's better if they don't. She's unconscious. I'm taking her to. We'll take care of her at the hospital. Maybe that moron did the dirty work for you. But 
you better make sure. It did. I'm telling you. On the way to the bookshop, I hit that girl with my car. I was scared stiff. She suddenly ran out in front of me. There was no way I could stop. Luckily for both of us, she wasn't that badly hurt. They did a bunch of tests on her at the hospital and said she had no major injuries. She was just in shock. So they decided to keep her under observation for 24 hours. A nurse took her to a room and gave her some strong medicine that put her to sleep. By the way, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, the girl's name was Gina. And she was amazingly beautiful. The truth is, I had no reason to stick around. So I went to say goodbye to her and go on my way. Please, don't leave. They want... There, there. Calm down. No, I'm telling you, they want me... Who were they? Please, calm... Something awful happened tonight, and I... Look, I'm a singer. I work at the... This evening, when I finished my act, my dad was waiting for me. He works for a secret government agency. He said it was an emergency. Come a little closer. Gina, kiddo, I'm in danger. What's the matter, Daddy? Oh, you're... There's no time to explain. They're right... But Daddy, please, tell me what's going on. They're here. Quick, grab the cruise... It was awful. Some guys pulled my dad away and took him into the storeroom. I scrambled away just in time and got the crucifix without them seeing me. I followed them to the storeroom. They tied my dad to a chair and violently started interrogating him. These two henchmen wouldn't stop hitting him, and my heart froze when I saw who was giving the orders. The Sandretti brothers. The famous mafia bosses? I don't know, but they... Get him to tell you what he knows. Speak the truth out of him, if... Speak. Where is it? I won't say a word, damn you! You're gonna speak now. Speak or die. You choose. Go to hell! It seems our friend doesn't... So, we got a tough boy on her. Did you hear that? The boss. Aya! What are you doing? Didn't you hear his neck crack? You... Oh! Up there. You already know the rest of the story. I ran out through an alleyway, and when I crossed the street. Please don't leave me. Don't worry. Just rest for now. Don't... She fell asleep. Those tranquilizers must have taken effect. What a story. I don't know what to think. The poor thing is probably in shock from the accident. I bet she dreamt all this. But what if it's true? What if her life really is in danger? I can't just leave her here and forget all about it. I'd never forgive myself if something happened to her. Okay, that's it. I'm not leaving this hospital until I'm sure Gina's completely out of danger. But. How are you supposed to act in a situation like this? Yeah, I, I think I'd better do something to protect Gina in case those mafia murderers she says want to kill her show up. Help fight AIDS. Organ donors needed. Standard hospital linens. Standard hospital linens. This might come in here. It's cracked. Those are the same kind of sleeping pills Gina took. Snooze a It belongs to Gina. She was carrying it when I ran her over. I'll keep it until Gina...
Out of order. Well, I'm afraid the shower is out of order. There aren't even any faucets. What can I say? It's just a toilet bowl. I like that big apple sticker. I can't. It's, it's locked shut. I may be needing... It's one of those waste baskets that opens up when you step on the lever. Someone threw away a marking pen. It might still... It contains a description of her injuries in the name of her doctor. Hmm, let's see. It's a map of this floor of the hospital. Here's the room I'm in. Here's the hall, and if I'm not mistaken, across the hall and just to the left of this room, there's a storeroom. That could be interesting. It's turned off this time of year. The city is so peaceful at this time of night. Okay, I'll try to reach the storeroom by walking along the ledge. Hope I live to tell the grandkids! Yikes! I better not look down. I almost didn't make it. So, the map was right. This is the storeroom. Let's see what I can find in this dump. There are several files inside labeled incoming and outgoing medicines from 1994 to 1998. Those files don't interest me. At the medical school behind my department at the university, they had a bunch of these. Hmm, okay. But I think I'll just take his head with me. His head's got a hole. The drawers are locked shut. I don't know what's inside, but they give me bad vibes. It's probably better to stay away from them. I don't want to catch some tropical disease. The drawers are locked shut. Too bad it's empty. I don't think I'll be needing it. They're the pillows used in the patient's beds. I'll take them both. Well, they're big. They contain all sorts of medical equipment. I don't need any of that. Spray cleaner. This could be useful. A box of syringes. I'll grab one. It's empty. It's not on right now. They contain all sorts of medical equipment. I don't need any of that. It's full of files, papers, and other hospital records. I think it weighs too much. It's full of files, papers, and other hospital records. Some kind of stand used to hang the little bottle of serum on a hook. No.
It's full of files, papers, and other hospital records. They contain all sorts of medical equipment. I don't need any of that. 